It's, this bridge also has outdated design. Tight curves led to higher than average crash rates on this bridge. The bridge isn't alone. There are 700, excuse me, 979 bridges in Wisconsin, 661 bridges in Minnesota in poor condition, along with nearly 7,000 miles of highway between your two states that need repair. And now after years of talking about infrastructure, we're finally getting it done. Finally. And by the way, instead of infrastructure week, we're going to have an infrastructure decade. Decade. Look. Back in January, I announced the largest investment in our bridges in American history, a total of $40 billion in funding for bridge improvement. $40 billion, including $12.5 billion to fix the most economically significant bridges in this country, like the Blatnick Bridge. And on top of that, on top of that, over the next five years, based on formula funding, the bipartisan infrastructure law will provide Minnesota an estimated $5.4 billion. And Wisconsin, $5.4 billion for highways and bridges. We sure don't want you to miss any of the Vikings-Packer games.